What's up YouTube, jmaxicus here with a video on how to maximize your gold if you are a play to win player instead of a pay to play player. Step 1. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you can unlock those chests right when they are available to unlock. Step 2. Join a clan. Being able to donate to your clan mates gives you gold per donation made. Commons will give you 1 experience and 5 gold, whereas rares will give you 10 experience and 50 gold, and epics will give you 10 experience and 500 gold. Donating a rare or epic counts as 10 cards for your daily limit. Here is a chart to see your daily limit and how much you can donate in a day. As you go up in arena, your daily limit will be able to increase, netting you more gold in donations per day. If you donate at Arena 11 260 times in a day, that is the equivalent to 1300 gold for that day. On Epic Sunday, if you are able to donate all Epics for your daily donation limit, you would be at 13,000 gold for that day. Step 3. Request your win conditions, followed by your spells until you are at Tournament Standard or until you are maxed out. These are the most important cards in your deck as they are the ones that will do the most damage to the towers and to their supporting troops. Here are some examples of win conditions that have succeeded in getting 12 wins in the grand challenge that you can focus on requesting. Here is an example of a deck that I use for my challenges and my tournaments to get the 12 wins and to become number one in the tournaments, which I will play as I explain some more of the next steps. Step number five is to maximize your victory gold of 20 times a day. This is a chart showing how much victory gold you get per arena. The higher the arena, the more gold you get per victory. Once at arena 11, the victory gold goes up by two for every tier in arena 11, capping at 40 for grand champion. This victory gold can be gained in three different ways. 1v1 arena victories, 2v2 arena victories, and victories in the custom tournament. Step 6. Save your gems for the challenges that appear every week or for the grand or classic challenges. I highly recommend not using your gems to buy pouches of gold, as if you did challenges, you'd be able to get more gold per gem value. For example, 500 gems can net you 10,000 gold. One grand challenge at 100 gems is 22,000 gold if you get the 12 wins. So if you were to do 5 grand challenges, you would net a total of 110,000 gold for the same price you would get that 10,000 gold. If you are not feeling confident in your abilities yet, you can always do the classic challenge which is 10 gems and you get 2000 gold. The reason why grand challenges are better is because it nets you an extra 2000 gold if you do the 12 wins for your gems. There is one more step that I feel has helped me gain a lot of practice with the decks I used. It's helped me gain gold and experience as I've continued to play Clash Royale. And I will share that step with you. But first, I just want to give a shout out to my family and friends that have helped me as I started making these YouTube videos. It takes a lot of time to be able to put these videos up and to do the editing that is necessary. I do it all myself and it takes quite a bit of time to do these uh, in my spare time. So I just want to uh, thank my family and friends for all that they do, the support that they give me. I also want to thank you guys that are watching these videos, the subscribers, for helping me uh, continue to giving me support in order to continue to make these videos. Uh, just watching people Giving likes, giving comments is the encouragement that I need to keep making these videos for you guys. And I really appreciate it and hope that I can be able to continue to give you good content as uh, Clash Royale continues to evolve.
My final step and the one I attribute to a lot of my success is joining custom tournaments. Custom tournaments doesn't cost you anything and it gets you the experience for tournament standard cards that you need in order to do the challenges that come up by Supercell and the classic and the grand challenges. What I will do is I will go into the tournaments tab. I will join one and I will put two letters in. Usually BA is my go-to two letters and I will look at the tournaments that are available find one that is not password protected and find one that has the most amount of participants as the more participants there are the more cards and gold you will get out of the chest from your victory. Custom tournaments are a great way to find out which deck would work for you and which deck to focus on upgrading the cards for for your ladder play as well. These chests also contain cards that can be helpful for, for you for donating and for leveling your cards. Also, you have the chance of getting legendaries. I personally have gotten three legendaries from custom tournament chests. That's 120,000 gold worth. With this tournament, I started it at 37 minutes, and before 15 minutes, I was already number one. And it took me less than 25 minutes worth of gameplay to secure the top spot. So these tournaments aren't necessarily all that time consuming, and you're able to do multiple ones in a day. So that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, like, subscribe and comment. I hope you're able to get success in maximizing your gold, getting that practice in for getting those challenges done with those gems. And I hope you have fun doing it. I really enjoy these tournaments and they've gained me a lot uh, for Clash Royale. You're able to net some serious gold if you follow these tips. I'm talking about over 20,000 gold in a week, which is the equivalent of getting one legendary in the shop every two weeks, which is pretty good. So I hope that you're able to save up that gold and get the cards that you want so that you can rise in your ladder and tournament play. This is J-Max and happy clashing.